CFET is 105.9. Good afternoon. It's 12 noon. Good looking afternoon. A early spring or late winter day and a mild one so far. We're going to get that East Coast feeling this time around and some Irish tunes for sure. We'll get an early start on St. Patty's Day. A very special guest momentarily. And here's a guy... Uh, one of the legends named Tommy. Finnegan lived in Morgan Street, a gentle Irishman, mighty odd. They had a bro. No, 5.9 Seaside FM. That's a drunken fighting fool. I shouldn't be playing that before we introduce our special guest. But that's the one that uh, Dave wrote from the Sons of Maxwell. And it's on their, sort of on their best of collection these days. A fun tune for sure. It is uh, 12.06 in Seaside. Getting that East Coast feeling on this. Uh, uh, a lot of people are thinking spring today, that's for sure. So a lot of people are walking today and out uh, jogging as well, making me look bad. It's, uh, as I said, 12.06, and Linda Brooks is here from Bedford this afternoon. Hi, Linda. Hi, Paul. Good to uh, have you back on the show, and uh, we'll promote a couple of upcoming concerts you have in about a week's time this coming weekend. That's right. Yeah. Play some of the tunes from your latest CD. Maybe go back to the first one there in the mid-90s, Linda, as well, and uh, you have a favorite uh, producer and a favorite guitar player is going to join you a bit later on, maybe for a live tune. Yes, that's right. James Logan is going to be here with us. Yeah, today. and James was the producer of uh, Spaces in between. He right? was, yes. So he knows your music uh, very, very well. He knows it better than I do, probably. Yes. <laughs> Who was your producer on the first album you did, the first CD uh, back The very in first CD was, um, Under Pain and Moon, was Kevin Scott McMichael, actually, who mm -hmm. lived here in Dartmouth for a while. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And along the way, Linda, this is close to St. Patty's Day, and uh, with me father was Patrick, me brother's Timothy, and Kennedy is a very Irish name. We're going to get an it. Well, we already have a head, bit of a head start on St. Patty's yes. Day. Yes. I think we got uh, into phase one about a week ago when Evans and Doherty were here live, <laughs> and uh, we had a good time with them, that's for sure, Linda. So thanks for being here. My pleasure. And here's a song I still uh, like a whole lot. Just love this one from your first CD. Thank you. Title song, right? It is. Pain and Moon. Linda Brooks on that East Coast feeling here at Seaside, and the song is called Pain and Moon. From the mid-90s, title song in her very first CD, and that's uh, Linda Brooks here, a very special guest this afternoon, and Paint and Moon, or under a Paint and Moon title song from uh, that very fine CD. It's 12 after 12, getting that East Coast feeling this afternoon with uh, Linda Brooks. We're going to play another Irish tune here, Linda, momentarily from uh, the Irish Descendants. They're one of the best uh, ambassador bands of uh, East Coast and Irish music, aren't I, they? I would have to say they're definitely, they definitely are, yes. I wonder if they're still together. I haven't heard much from the Irish Descendants I haven't lately. Heard, I haven't heard either, but a really great bunch of guys. And um, I actually opened for them at a show at Dal, at the Student Union Building, years and years ago. But, um, well, a few years ago, anyway. Oh, is that <laughs> Who's right? Who's counting? But, yes. <laughs> but they, uh, they were just terrific guys, very, um, you know, great musicians and just classy guys. Oh, for sure, Linda. Yeah. We're going to be playing, uh, and, and w after the Irish Descendants, too, after our weather forecast, we get to uh, one of the tracks from your uh, very latest CD, The Spaces In Between, of course. And along the way, if you want to say hi to Linda Brooks this afternoon, especially when you hear one of her songs, just give us a call at 469-6000. And uh, we'll even qualify you for one of her, a copy of her very latest CD here from Seaside FM, on that East Coast feeling this afternoon. As mentioned... Irish Descendants on Seaside FM. The mellow side of the Irish Descendants, that's for sure. Beautifully done there, called Days of Yore on Seaside FM. Five days before the big day, but I know a lot of uh, fellow Irish men and women who are already in a party mode, and I know they can't wait till Thursday, that's for sure. And uh, last week's guests, Evans and Doherty, are going to be... Uh, Thursday night play in the Compass Room uh, at the casino once again right on St. Patty's Day and I'm looking forward to that show very much Linda. Sounds like a great one yeah. Yeah they were there last St. Patty's Day too so it worked out. Then the following day the Irish Rovers are there in the oh, wow. um, schooner room on uh, Friday night so it's uh, quite a week for for the Irish friends we have. Yes. And you, and you have <laughs> Irish in your family, right? I do. Yeah, I do. My um, m On my mom's side, actually, um, I have Irish uh, background. So it's in my blood, definitely. 
Let's say hi to a lady who called in and remembers you from your acting days. Yes. Now, I didn't realize, Linda, <laughs> I knew about your uh, proficiency as a vocalist and a songwriter, but... Uh, I almost forgot about your Grafton Street Dinner Theater That's days. That's right. Yeah, I spent quite a few years performing there, and it was wonderful, wonderful training for um, you know the live part of your show and getting up and feeling comfortable in front of an audience, and you know brings out the ham in everyone, I guess. So yeah, she was. She re the fact that she remembered that is very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> and happy birthday, Mary, a week early, too. And thanks yes. for calling in, Linda. Appreciated that for sure. We'll be back with one of the tracks on Linda's very latest CD right after we uh, have a break here. Hi, I'm Kevin Evans. And I'm Brian Doherty. Join us at the casino on March 17th for a rollicking St. Patrick's Day, Kaylee. There's no better way to celebrate the big day than with Evans and Doherty. Minus one for tomorrow, so it will be cooler and maybe feel wintry again because, after all, on the calendar, it's, uh, it's not spring yet, but it's pretty good this afternoon. We've got 8 degrees here at the Cove at Seaside. And back with our very special guest, Linda Brooks, this afternoon, co-hosting along the way. And while I think of it, Linda, let's tell everybody about a big show you have, a return engagement at the Carlton in about yes. seven days' time. Yeah, a week from today, actually. So um, next Sunday evening, starting at 9 o'clock, we'll be uh, returning to the Carlton, um, myself and James Logan, who's going to be here a little bit later today, mm -hmm. and our cello player, Norman Adams, is going to be joining us as well for uh, a lovely evening of music. So I hope everyone can come out. I'm really looking forward to going back. And I believe you have an performance also next Saturday. Right, the night before we're actually going to be doing a slightly more intimate um, performance at the Trellis Cafe in Hubbard's, so if that's a better location for people, uh, that would be would be great to see them come out for that as well. Trellis Cafe in Hubbard's, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so a busy weekend for sure. Mm -hmm. Talk about your basketball weekends and a very exciting <laughs> uh, Friday you had, but we're going to play one of your songs, Linda, because uh, uh, we promised one from your new CD, and I believe Tryon is track number one. On it is. It's the very first one. Yep. Yeah. What's the message in that one you were trying to convey? Would you um, say? That I was trying to convey? Um, <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think the message is just, um, it sort of actually covers what a lot of the songs, and encompasses a lot of the songs on the album, which speak about just the things that we all kind of share in common and the trials and tribulations and um, and just reminding ourselves not to be too hard on each other sometimes because we're all just doing the best we can. Mmm, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Linda Brooks here on Seaside FM. If you want to say hi to Linda, qualify for a copy of her CD, give her a call at 469-6000. Here she is. I listen to you when you listen to me and we just can't lie so yes or no I 105.9 Seaside FM getting that East Coast feeling live and a good looking, uh, almost said spring afternoon, but uh, officially it's about a week away, right around the time Linda does her next visit to the Carrollton. I think uh, next Sunday is. Uh, the first day of spring on the 20th. Oh, see, it's yes. perfect. I yes. planned it that way. I guess so, Linda. <laughs> that's Kevin Collins, a real good singer. He's good friends with Daniel O'Donnell, and they sort of sound alike, too. And that's uh, uh, Kevin there from Newfoundland and doing an old Irish song. They've got a few Irish tunes along the way, that's for sure. I heard Martin play a few on his show earlier today. And it isn't bad at all, Linda. And I know you've had a busy weekend with uh, your hubby, Mike, and the guys there. And you did the... Um, and before we allude to your exciting Friday, of course, it's very <laughs> sad with the, the news right now, mm. with all those people over in Japan, and the, uh, they're, they're evacuating 170,000 people from uh, the quake and the t tsunami uh, ravaged uh, northeastern coast there. And there's a partial meltdown, I guess, that has been reported of uh, one of the nuclear plants, too, and they're hoping things don't get any worse because mm -hmm. they've been through an awful lot there. Yeah. And uh, a lot of r one of the problems today is recovering many of the bodies and finding many of the people. So just a very sad situation there. And yeah, very I guess difficult. our problems are few and far between compared to what uh, mm -hmm. just it's devastating yeah. what's happening over there. Yeah, so it's very difficult. Hopefully we'll get some good news and the uh, nuclear sites won't uh, get too uh, overheated there and, and even cause more damage for the poor people over in Japan. But we'll keep you posted throughout the afternoon and hopefully we'll get a bit of good news along the way. But Linda, on Friday you had a um, uh, you've had some basketball weekends, <laughs> but Friday afternoon was exciting. I think you sang the national anthem at the Metro Center. I did. At the, just before the opening game of the CIS Final I Eight. I did, right? yes, I How did. How did that go? Oh, it was fun. It was really, really good, good experience. And, you know, there's so much energy, of course, in the room already because everyone's so excited by the event. So it was just great to be a part of that. 
And I hear for the opening game early on a Friday, there was a big crowd there. I think Acadia played in that first game. Yes, yeah, it was a really good crowd. I mean, I, I was. Uh, I think there's just a tremendous amount of support here for, for basketball in general and for sport in general, but it was great to see so many people coming out, and the weather doesn't hurt either. So. Yeah. And CIS finals back in Halifax for the first time in three years mm -hmm. and, uh, and drawing huge crowds over the weekend. I don't think it's been a problem. We have to get the tournament back here every year. That I would think be that's a great idea, and yeah. <laughs> a lot of basketball fans would like that. You've had a few basketball weekends with uh, your guys there, I your have. growing guys at home, mm -hmm. haven't you? Yeah, my boys are both really, really uh, you know, passionate about their basketball, so um, they've got a big tournament coming up next weekend, the Bedford Classics, so that's um, it's mm. going to be basketball. It's a basketball-themed month, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and an Irish-themed day, that's for that's sure, right. here this <laughs> afternoon, Linda. I want to go back to your very first CD and remind listeners that when they hear you sing a song they can call in qualify for a copy of your CD that we're going to give away your very latest CD called uh, Spaces in Between this goes back to the first one though the last century there yeah, well, now. Well, a decade, oh. a decade and a half. Okay, a decade <laughs> Easy. and a half. Easy. I'm sorry about that. Well, I'm dating, I'm dating myself, too, remembering uh, remembering that around 1995. It was in, in that era, yes, it was. And you covered a few classics. Uh, you brought back a few um, cover tunes, let's mm -hmm. say, of classics, and yep. one of them has an Irish flavor all about Maggie, isn't That's it? That's right, yeah. When you and I were young, Maggie, it was actually, when I was doing that CD, I um, went and looked through my grandmother's uh, piano bench because she was the one who had taught me, you know, to to sing and I guess sort of surrounded me with music and I was looking for some inspiration and and opened the piano bench and there was an old piece of sheet music of when you and I were young Maggie so that's why I included it on the album to sort of remember her. Linda Brooks here this afternoon on Seaside one fine vocalist that's for sure just before we hear one from Evans and Doherty this afternoon on that East Coast feeling. If you want to say hi to Linda the number is 469-6000. Here she is. Drink for me, Father. That's uh, Evans and Doherty, our very special guests a week ago. Sure looking forward to uh, seeing their show at the Compass Room. They've invited me to introduce them on stage, and it'll be Great. my pleasure. Uh, they, they're t they've been together 26 years. I shouldn't oh have to goodness. introduce them, Linda. I thought they knew wow. each other. So they were five when they started, right? <laughs> <laughs> As I say, I shouldn't have to introduce no, them. I think should. they know each other by now. But, uh, That's a good one, But Bob. they were fabulous. <laughs> I had to tell you that twice. <laughs> I'm a little slow on the uptake sometimes. The only joke I know, and she missed it. Well, uh, we just heard from Lorena as well. She's a sports fanatic, and uh, she's uh, she had some nice things to say about your voice as yeah. well. Lorena Walsh, one of our fabulous loyal listeners out Great. there when she's not watching hockey and basketball <laughs> and football on TV. I think she does both at the same time. Wow. <laughs> but Impressive. Is, yes. But it is a beautiful afternoon. We're going to get to... Um, uh, in, in about five or ten minutes' time, I'd say by about ten to one anyway, in the next ten minutes, Lindy, as we alluded to, you have a favorite guitar player and producer named James. I do, yep. He goes back to the Joan Kennedy show, and I went to many of those uh, tapings of Joan's show in the early 90s at CTV. Oh. And Joan is as Irish as you can get, too, being a Kennedy. Sure, yeah. So we're going to play one by Joan here momentarily Great. on Seaside FM. But I do hear that... Uh, uh, we've got the latest weather forecast now on Seaside FM. Linda's going to take care of that for us. A presentation <laughs> of the Cynthia Lawler Group, real estate specialist for Dartmouth and surrounding areas. And you can give them a call at 483-0213 or visit them at CynthiaLawler.com. They are the Dartmouth specialists. Linda, there's a little rain and maybe a little snow in the forecast. Oh, say it isn't so. Okay, so today, sunny and then clouding over, and the UV index is moderate with a high near 7. Tonight, unfortunately, rain changing to snow near midnight with a rainfall of 5 to 10 millimeters. We can handle that, right? Snowfall about 2 centimeters, a little more inland, with the winds north 30 gusting 50. Um, 30 gusting 50 and the low uh, is minus 4. And Monday cloudy with north winds gust to 40 with a high of minus 1. Tuesday sunny up to plus 2. Wednesday sunny temperature near 5. We like to hear that. Thursday periods of rain but a high near 7 and it is now a balmy 8 degrees at Seaside. Very well done. You promised one of these days to maybe sing the weather forecast <laughs> for us. Remember? Remember yes, I'm, I'm going to have to do a little work on that I think. Well. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might be more apropos when we know winter's really over and maybe yeah. in the spring or summer. Well, then I will sing, definitely. And you yes. said it was 8 degrees? 8 degrees. Not bad at all. Joan Kennedy is next. Another one or two from Linda as well on that East Coast feeling at Seaside. 
Duckman Players Theater, 33 Creighton Avenue, is pleased to present... This is Joan Kennedy on Seaside FM, and uh, that's uh, one of her very, very big top ten hits, that's for sure, by that uh, Irish friend of mine who now lives in Portland, Maine, and uh, Linda's favorite guitar player and producer is not far away, too. <laughs> James, if you want to get a little closer to the mic there, I, uh, I remember you, James, being one of the... Uh, one of the great musicians who backed up Joan on all those CTV, she had, on ATV at the time, of course, she had her own television series for a couple of years. Were they a lot of fun? They were a lot of fun, yes. Joan was good to be around. She was such a fun person, and uh, she rarely got down. I mean, you know, she rarely, rarely was in a, a bad mood or uh, just... Um, a wonderful personality. Hard yeah. to keep up with, actually. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Especially in Europe. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and you've got another blonde singer that's in your camp here. It's a theme. <laughs> there you go. Well, Linda, let's get back to one more from your CD before you and James do one live for us in the studio here this afternoon. And let's get back to one called uh, Jenny. What's the story on that song? Oh, well, Jenny was written, um, not the actual name of, but um, just a name I gave to a homeless woman that I um, encountered, used to kind of walk by when I was on my way to work in my early days in Halifax. And, um, you know, I always sort of wondered what her story was. And, and one day she wasn't there any longer. And I always sort of regretted that I hadn't done more for her or found out more about her. So I guess this uh, song is sort of my apology and my, my small way of trying to make amends. <laughs> Linda, always oozing with goodness, Brooks. Here she is <laughs> on Seaside FM, and uh, we'll take one or two more qualifiers for a copy of the CD if you want to say hi to Linda right now at 469 6000. Oh, what a nice song. Time passes on. Played it by mistake, but uh, it still sounded good to me. Even though I messed up, we were going to play Jenny. We'll play that some other time, that's for sure. One from Linda. Jenny is one from her new CD, Spaces in Between. But that one goes back. It's called Time Passes On. Yep. And a very nice song as we're into daylight saving time anyway. Yes, perfect. There yeah, you go. So it yeah. worked out, I guess. It was meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, Linda, what about a few people called in with some beer? We didn't get an overwhelming amount of calls, but those that called in were maybe... Uh, uh, they were no maybe about it. Very impressed with your vocal ability, and so yeah. and a few listeners seem to be uh, recognizing that fact for the very first time. Yeah, that's always great to have uh, first-time fans. So that's mm. exciting. Yeah. Now you, you have James here not far away, and he was your producer on Spaces in Between, and he's he going to play guitar on one. And I think you're going to do uh, a song called Last Train. Just give us a b background on that before you sing. Well, actually, James and I wrote this song together, and um, so it seems appropriate that we should be here together to do it. Um, it's just a song James gave me some music and um, I took it home and it was very inspiring and I came up with some lyrics and um, was actually one of my very first co-writes and, and it turned out really happy with it so definitely do some more writing together I think. All right Linda Brooks anytime you're ready James here is Last Train on Seaside FM. If I could I would Paint you a picture And you could hold it in your hand And maybe then Maybe then you'd see me Maybe then you'd understand That I can't stay for all your reasons When I am sinking in this sand there's a time for every season, and this one is past. Let it go, let it go. Let this memory fade away. Take the love you gave me, keep your need to save me. I can't. Still time for 
for me to catch the last train tonight Sometimes you think you've got forever to find out what it takes but time, it slips up on you And the branches start to break And there's nothing left to cling to And there's nothing left to try And there's nothing left to say but goodbye Let it go Let it go Let this memory fade away Take the love you gave me Keep your need to save me I can't carry all this way there's still time for me to catch the last train tonight. There's still time for me to follow the path that my own dreams have made. I can't give you my tomorrows. I can't lose another day Let it go, let it go Let this memory fade away Take the love you gave me Keep your need to save me There's still time, there's still time for me to catch the last train. I only thought you did a great job reading the weather forecast. <laughs> Very nicely done, Linda. Thank you. Very nicely. Thanks. Accompanied by James Logan. I think we're going to have time for one more, actually. <coughs> and we made a draw, Linda, from the callers who uh, got through, and a few probably couldn't get through there. Could have been blind, could have been tied up. But uh, And our winner of the, your CD, your very latest CD, uh, Melanie McGinnis, was Great. one of the ladies who called in and was uh, very impressed with your, your music. So congratulations, Congratulations. Yeah. And let's remind our listeners about next Sunday night at the Carleton. Tickets are on sale, right? Yes, they are. Um, you can get tickets by calling the Carleton at 422-6335. And the show starts at 9 o'clock. So looking forward to it. A return engagement, it seems to me, just a little over a year ago, you were there for two uh, two great shows, and this time yeah. just uh, next Sunday, yep. which will be um, March the 20th. That's right. Yep. And, and I think it's the first day of spring, as we mentioned earlier. Linda, thank you so much for uh, dropping by our Thank you, Paul. My pleasure, for oh, sure. Thank you very much. And you're going to do one more sure. from your CD? Yes, from the new CD. Yep. Which um, one? Um, we'll do a song called Stranded, I think. All right. Just Not that we are, but we will do a song called Stranded. <laughs> Good place to be stranded if you have to be it is. out here in Eastern Passage in this <coughs> sunny day. Mallow Country Hour is just ahead. Here's uh, Linda Brooks and Seaside, and the song is called Stranded. hotel no one to call no one to tell that I'm stranded here again A restaurant full of folks like me marking the time with coffee and tea all of them having some place they'd rather be but we're held here as the clouds roll by no commitment for a time Stranded and there's no
no place I'd rather be Surrendered to forces greater than me I'm quite content to stay until I'm on my way And hoping I'll be stranded somewhere soon And hoping I'll be stranded, stranded somewhere soon Hope and heartache holding on Like the chorus of a song that's over But not done I love the way you look at me But I'm afraid that what I see is something That I can't keep But in this moment for time I'm all that's yours, you're all that's mine Stranded and there's no place I'd rather be Surrendered to forces greater than me I'm quite content to stay until I'm on my way And hoping I'll be stranded somewhere soon and hoping I'll be stranded, stranded somewhere soon. Live on Seaside FM, one gifted vocalist from Bedford, Linda Brooks. Now another hour of easy listening music on CFEP 105.9. Seaside FM. This is...